everybody. Welcome to the morning message for December 23rd. I hope everybody is doing well. I hope you uh, moved through the great conjunction. At least the, the start, the starting gun went off and you're off. <laughs> this is not a one and done. Okay. This is a, the rest of our lives kind of energy. So uh, as though, as though things will move, things will shift as they always do, but we're moving into some new energy now. All right, so uh, I feel like we've been we've been hanging on the precipice of it for maybe a year. This does feel a little bit like the um, the clarity you're needing is showing up. So let's see where we go here. <laughs> He's doing it, burying something. All right, let's see where we go. Okay. Da da wandering path. Indeed. View from above. Get the big picture. Perspective is everything. Crossing bridges. It's a time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. So this is definitely what I've been talking about, which is um, you know, sort of assessing where you're going. You may not know. Uh, or may not have known, but now that you're in this Aquarius energy, this big picture energy, you're seeing that certain things need to leave and certain things need to show up. So um, there's a, a bit of a changing of the guard here, it feels to me. Yeah, hi. What you doing? <laughs> I don't know what Charlie's doing this morning. I don't know. What's going on? Go get your ball. All right, let's see where we go here for you. I will be looking at past, present, future. I will be looking at anybody who shows up in this reading. If those um, zodiac signs uh, show up in this reading um, that you're working with or that are on your path, I will look at those in the extended. There will be an extended read for this. If this reading resonates with you, you can continue on with me if you like. All right, let's see where we go. If you're on Patreon... The rest of the reading just gets, just continues on. Right? Right. Okay, let's see where we go. Nine of cups underneath. Nine, ten, death. There's most definitely an ending of something and then a six of cups, a bringing in of somebody new or somebody from the past. Seven of wands, six of swords. It just feels like that's part of the story. For those of you taking my tarot class, you're, some of you ask really good, well, all of you ask really good questions, but like, how do you know when to stop on the bottom of the deck? I don't know. It just is an intuitive thing. Okay. Um, you have to let your intuition guide your readings, not the other way around. Nine of cups, 10 of cups, death, transforming. Um, I feel like you could have been on a really good path a person comes in that shifts you more onto your spiritual path though. Okay. So if you've been in a relationship or in work that has been stagnant, four of cups, stagnant, but okay. Right. Like eh, two of wands, strength, choosing to move forward. Queen of cups, Libra energy here, justice. So I see Libra and Leo and Scorpio. Wow. Wow. Lots of Leo energy here. This beautiful strength and the sun showing up. Ace of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Wow. Tower. All right. We can't let that stand. Okay. Three of Cups. Please clarify the tower for me. Because you're on a new path here. Hermits. Two of swords, seven of swords. Woof. Okay. So this person, there's a new person coming in, this new beginning, right? You're feeling like riding high. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. Um, leaving a stagnant situation behind. Could be with uh, a Virgo. A Virgo. Yeah. Feels like that to me. Feels like this person, the tower is this person showing back up now that you've moved on. Okay. Um, someone who has some kind of um, energy of holding back or, you know, stuck energy. 
somebody in your life and you're just like, you know what, I'm just moving on from this. I'm just going to keep going. Um, they're going to show up again here. Okay. I feel like you have, you, you might have a new relationship already started by the time this person shows up again. Um, I feel like there's some good energy here, some loving energy, some, you know, you finally have made a decision. Okay. You finally have made a decision to put something behind you, right? Nine of cups, 10 of cups. This was, this was a really important love. Somebody who you could have been twin flame, could be a twin flame. And you've just been like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to move on because it just keeps meandering around. Nothing is moving forward. I'm just tired of it. And I feel like that causes the twin to boom, right? To, um, and, and, the more you don't care what they do, the more boom there is. Do you know what I mean by that? If you're moving away from the relationship in order to get boom, in order to get a tower moment for that person, it's not likely to happen. But if you're legitimately looking at something and being like, you know what? This is going nowhere. All right. We're just meandering around, you know, just gambling about uh, not with very little, um, foresight or what we want to do. Oh, someone found a stick. Um, and so you're overcoming this. Come on up. You're overcoming this strength. This feels pretty good to you. Queen of cups and justice. All right. Um, this person also could be a new person coming in Leo Libra energy and it just feels like open and joyful and romantic and just beautiful. It feels nice, balanced, equal give and take. So you're ready to move forward with this commitment, Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. And then all of a sudden, ba-bam. This person from the past, the one that is um, over, death, right? The one that is over shows up. I think you are like, I'm going to resist this and I'm going to continue to move on with my new person. Okay. Um, so there's a three of cups here. It's all to me, what this is saying is you might have been in a situation with this person. They were married or they had a third party situation and you're like, you know, there's just this, there's just no upside for me in this. All right. So I'm not going to stick around for this. And this person has been holding back. They've been lying about things. They've, they've been very, um, I don't know, tough to deal with, immovable, stagnant, stuck. Okay. <laughs> so you're the one that has the third party now because you've decided to move on. I'm going to look at Leo and Libra energy in the extended. I feel like you finding somebody that does want relationship is balanced and everything like that. This other person might have even been out of your life for quite a long time. It's been so stagnant. It's been so stagnant. Let's see here. Please clarify the four of cups for me. Judgment, crossroads, no question about it. Five of swords, ten of swords, five of pentacles, high priestess. Um, you might let your imagination run away with you about why this is stagnant, but the important point is that this is a crossroads moment, okay? And, you know, there's this five of swords, five of pentacles, ten of swords, yuckiness. And I think... Um, your intuition, your, you got to trust your gut as to where you're going to go next. I feel like you're, you're done with this kind of manipulation. You're done with this out in the cold, this withholding kind of stuff. You're really done with it. Um, I like the new beginning here. I like the new beginning. Two of Pentacles, Magician, World, Nine of Pentacles. This is 100% in your court, okay? To move on from this, I feel like you're going in a good direction. World and Nine of Pentacles, okay? 
and you're the one manifesting. You have two choices. You have options, multiple options, really. Um, this person may uh, come back around just because they feel the energy of you leaving, okay? And boy, do they regret. Too little, too late, my friend. Uh, they certainly regret how this all went down, okay? They really do. So I feel like you're moving on in a better direction. Like I said, Libra, Leo energy here. Libra, Leo, Scorpio. Pisces, Libra, Leo, Scorpio, Pisces. This Virgo energy. This person doesn't have to be a Virgo, but they do have to be stuck. They do have to be withholding. They do have to be resistant to um, moving the relationship forward. So I feel like in the in the energy of this Aquarian big picture, I'm like, why am I wasting my time on this? All right. So I'm going to continue on with you if you want if with this reading. If you want to continue on with me, the link is below on Vimeo. If you're on Patreon, the rest of the reading starts right now.